Damps. Damps. What's poppin' guys? What's poppin'? So in this video, I'm gonna sh break down step by step what a hair unit process looks like, and we're gonna put a big emphasis on the adhesives we use. What adhesives we use. Imagine. Imagine somebody used this to stick hair on their head. When you have options that are made for that. This is Gorilla Glue. This is a joke, okay? Uh, we don't use Gorilla Glue. Don't ever use Gorilla Glue to stick anything. Don't put this around your body. Wear gloves if you're, you're handling this stuff. But we will be talking about the different types of adhesives that you can use. Whether it be a white bond, so a white glue, a clear glue, or even tape. And just, we're going to break down the whole process, top to bottom. So, let's start first by Exhibit A. Okay, so we're going to take out the areas of recession. So, whether that be just the front of your head or the whole thing, uh, we're going to shave that out. So, once we carve this out, and I'll just break down our hair, hair units for you. So, you have your hair unit, right? So, your hair unit has a base. And the hair is either injected or knotted into the base. By the way, these are our new hair units, our new Afro hair units. We have a lot of different types. So as you can see, the textures are very, very different. If you need one, www.damps.ca. And I want to show you one thing. So for these Afro ones specifically, for all of these ones that we currently have on the website, they're best used for mid-level haircuts. Not super short, not super close short haircuts to the scalp. Because let me show you something. The density levels are specially formulated. Notice that you can see through. You can see directly through the scalp, right? And that's perfect because if you have your skin directly underneath this, it will show. So you have your base here, okay? This is what we are going to be sticking to your head, not the hair. The base is going to be stuck to your head. Typically, what we need to do, and again, if you need hair, www.dams.ca. Right now, the ones we have on dams.ca, perfect for mid-level haircuts. The density is perfect, easy to style, dams.ca. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our scalp protector. We use a walker and tape scalp protector. This is imperative. I use this for every single person because it creates, it creates a little barrier between the adhesive and your actual skin. It's a protective scalp protector. It protects the scalp. And on top of that, what it's great for is if you live in humid conditions, you play a lot of sports, you sweat a lot. This also helps protect the actual adhesive from um, the secretions from your body. So the sweat, uh, the dirt, anything that comes out of your body, it will actively, it will act as an active barrier between the two. Because typically in certain cases, sweat, um, humidity, that breaks down the adhesive. There's a maximum sport version of this. There's a thicker version of this. This one is very light and uh, liquidy but there's thicker versions and those help more against sweat if you're an excessive sweater if you're an athlete and you're always running around and even if you're going to swim there's scalp protectors that really protect and keep the adhesive holding up strong for long periods of time regardless of circumstances we put a coat of this once we have a coat of that on then we have different adhesives so i'm not going to go too much into tape because it's pretty self-explanatory, but this is double-sided tape. If, if we wanted to, we would put this around the perimeter of the head and then stick the unit down on top of that. It's clear, so it's not white like you see here. You take off that white strip, so it's absolutely clear. It actually looks like glue when it's on, on the head. But we're going to focus on two specific types today. White bond, white glue, and clear glue. Um, the, the brands I have here, well, I have Bold Hold, Ghost Bond, Ghost Bond Platinum, and Walker and Tape Ultra Hold. That's the clear bond. So first I'm going to break down the white glue. The ghost bond is water-based. There's no latex. There's no harsh solvents. It's hyperallergenic. The benefits of this glue, and this is probably the most popular, is very comfortable. It doesn't carry a scent. And it's extremely, extremely durable for, for most people who wear it. It lasts you two to four weeks on end. I usually suggest people do their maintenance for a hair unit. So that, that means cleaning up your hair unit. I would say every week. But, I mean, you can leave this on your head for weeks. Now, when we look at the clear clear bond, clear glue, this is the Walker and Tape Ultra Hold. Um, it's a lot thicker, but it is extra strong. 
This one is acrylic based. It can last you four to six weeks. This could probably last you two months. You should never leave your hair unit on for two months, but if you put this on with your hair unit, it, it can stay on your head for a very, very long time and very strong. Like you'll probably have to spray something on to remove it, even at that point. A lot of times with Ghost Bond, if you wear it to that four week, three to two to four week point, like it's it's on. Don't get me wrong, it's bonded, it's stuck to it's stuck to your head, but you will be able to remove it without using too much product. Now, when it comes to cleaning, you're gonna have to use product because these are waterproof. Like you're you you could swim with them, you could do a bunch of things. Now, another big difference between these two with white adhesive, it goes on white. And you wait for it to you wait for it to dry before you put on an, an extra coat, but it goes on white and it dries clear. So you're gonna put it on, it's gonna dry clear in all cases. The only thing, the only thing that I, I need to mention to you is that under extreme heat, under extreme heat, so a very, very hot day, this can turn white on your scalp. Whereas the walker and tape does not turn white. It stays clear throughout everything. This one's really, really strong. This is very strong and it's super popular. So this turns white under extreme heat. This does not. In terms of cleaning, the easiest thing to clean is the tape, honestly. Tape is the easiest way to go if you want to clean, even if you want to put it back on your head because you can stick the tape directly to the bottom of, of the, hair, the hair unit and then stick the hair unit back onto your head. So that's why tape is super popular and I actually recommend tape to, to most people. Now, the one thing I want to mention, and this is something that's never really been brought up in any videos that I've seen. With these white bonds, or I'll, st I'll speak on ghost bonds specifically, but the same thing happened with this one right here. This one. They are hyperallergenic, but it is very important to do a patch test beforehand. I've had one or two situations with clients who were actually allergic, so I'll explain that to you right now what happens in a in the form of allergic reaction, but right? And this specific client I'm speaking on, we were using this for I believe we were using this for months, maybe even years. And out of nowhere, out of the blue, he had a breakout where his just skin got ir irritated, he wanted to itch, he wanted to itch it a lot. Um so what happened is he took the, his hair unit off and he noticed that there was some some air, skin irritation there. And he didn't know what caused it. And I've done so much research into this now and I've, I've figured out what was the, the issue. From research and from a lot of research, what can happen is you can develop an allergic reaction. You know what I mean? Some people are allergic and it doesn't kick in immediately. It'll kick in two to three days after you have it on. But uh, that is called contact derm contact dermatitis, and essentially, it's pretty much an allergy. As soon as you feel any sort of irritation, you gotta address it. Don't push past it. Don't think it's gonna go away. You you address it immediately. And again, I've seen this maybe not even one percent of the time. You know what I mean? But I've only seen that with white glue. I've never seen that with clear adhesive. Only with white adhesive. So regardless, anytime you use a product, they always advise patch tests. And I think, yeah, you should carry out the patch tests. Absolutely. People will have to take those patch tests 24 to 48 hours beforehand. We would either have to send you the product or you, you'd have to go pick up the product and do the patch test on yourself first. Again, nothing here is formulated. Nothing I showed you here is formulated and not medically tested. Just been put through the rigors of different tests to make sure that it's healthy and safe for skin. Everything here is safe for the skin. These are products that have been sold for a lo long time, a long time. People wear these on every day, right? Every day, people have their hair systems every day. I always tell people, if you feel any sort of irritation, the beauty of this is you could just take it off, you know what I mean, and dress it right away. How my client that had an irritation dealt with this. So the first time he just let it heal on its own, which it did, everything cleared up. But then the second time he went to see a dermatologist and they confirmed contact dermatitis and they prescribed a lotion, a lotion. And that lotion cleared up all the acne, anything that developed any irritation that was and it cleared it up really fast. 
Um, so that's one thing I want to let you know. I don't think anybody will ever tell you that. But again, that doesn't happen to even one percent of the people I've seen. So it's not necessarily something to not not necessarily something to to worry about. As for tape, again, I showed you how you can apply the tape. The tape is probably the easiest to take off, apply all of that, especially if you have a, a base like like this right here. If you have a base like this, it's super easy to, for maintenance. A lot of times I tell people the hardest part of a hair unit is or getting used to the maintenance. The maintenance isn't hard, but getting used to it, that, that's where the learning curve is because people are impatient. You know what I mean? But if you're patient, you do everything the right way, smooth. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. I hope that was very insightful for you. I'll just give you an example. In most cases, we use Ghost Bond because it's hyperallergenic and it's honestly something that it's, it's easier to do maintenance with Ghost Bond than it is to do with this clear adhesive. But this clear adhesive is, if you want something to really be stuck on and last very long, as it does with Ghost Bond, this Ghost Bond Platinum. So this is the best Ghost Bond. But the clear adhesive is popular too. I want to point out one more thing for you. And this is it happens with lace. We're not really doing too many lace units right now. If you check the date of the video, we're not really doing too many right now. But what people always want breathability when it comes to hair unit, right? And they think because something is PU or polyurethane base, this this is a, a thin polyurethane base. They they think that and let me show you something. Again, you can see through this, right? But they think if it's not laced, then it's not breathable. But let me, what I've seen a lot of people do is they'll cover their head in glue. And then they, they really want a lace unit. And if you cover your head in, in, in glue, so the whole head is covered in glue, then the breathability that you're looking for is not going to be there. Okay, so if you want breathability, then you're going to cover the important spots. So you'll cover the front hairline, you'll cover around the perimeter. But... Breathability, if you put a bunch of glue on your head, the breathability that you're looking for is not going to be there because you got to remember there's a scalp protector that creates a barrier between your scalp and the, the adhesive, any harsh chemicals in the adhesive, and then you put on the adhesive on top of that. So, um, again, breathability, like this all feels natural on your head. It does not feel hot. You know what I mean? Or we don't use bases that feel like get super hot. We don't use those. But for people who, a lot of times people throw around the word breathability, and that's a misconception because most people who are throwing that word around are covering their head, whole head in glue, layers of glue. Anyways, that's something I wanted to point out. But otherwise, um, yeah, damps.ca, if you want a hair unit right now, we got a lot of different textures, got a lot of different textures, a lot of different curl patterns. And again, the ones we have on the site right now are amazing for mid-level haircuts thank you guys for watching i hope you benefited from this video like comment subscribe uh, i'm gonna give you guys all this information about everything hair loss all right i, I just want to let it out and I, it can help a lot of people right so take crowns make bread thank you guys for watching peace holla at me damps D damps